Every day we receive thousands of terrible VHS tapes and DVDs. Some are so fucking weird we don't exactly know what to do with them. That's why the Wheel of the Worst was designed. It's a torture device for the modern age. The wheel is spun three times. Each spin selects a video at random for the group to watch, and then evaluate which video is the best of the worst. All right, Rich. Okay, it's time for another Wheel of the Worst. Let's get this over with. No, no, Rich. We haven't done one of these in a while. We have to, we have to explain what's on the wheel here before. I know uh, when we've done the Wheel of the Worst, it's been a horrible disaster every time, but we do have to set this up properly. So okay. let's, let's go through what's on the wheel here. We've got some old classics and some new things. Uh, first up is Traveling Alone in America. Now we looked at the back of this and it seems to be some sort of Canadian production about the dangers of coming to America. There's plenty of dangers. Mm -hmm. And next up we have Where Did I Come From? Which looks like a cartoon about people having awkward sex. I think it's aimed at children and I think the cum part is not an intentional joke, but. Uh, next up, oh, God. Tom Parks in Diabetes, A Positive Approach. And this is like uh, Tree Stand Safety. This cover is sort of a little masterpiece. It's a good thing it's not called HIV, A Positive Approach. Oh. And then next up, we have The Incredible Instant Boring Boyfriend. Adoring Boyfriend. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I, I thought it said it, It's a yet boring. to be decided if it's boring or not, but I think this is some sort of virtual boyfriend where you put it in and he talks to you. For incredibly lonely women. I, but not just women. I'm sure there's some men that would That's be okay. He, okay. He, he looks like a handsome fella. Uh, introducing Kitten Commotion. Seven cute, cuddly kittens. They wrestle, romp, explore, lounge, and play. So this is the laziest video that anyone has ever distributed. And, and the tape up next needs no introduction. It's the second most popular tape on this show, Tree Stand Safety. And hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll land on that today. I hope so. I've been, I've been looking forward to Tree Stand Safety. And next up, we have one of the most mysterious tapes on the board. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts 1994 Fall Donut Event Finishing Video with Bob Rosenberg. Okay. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> this oh, was God. sent to us, and this is all it was. Just you know, this label. You know what's going to happen, right? The wheel is going to land on that instead of oh. our next tape, the Shoji Tabuchi Show. The most anticipated uh, video of all time in human history. Yeah. All right, Rich. Let's get this over with. <sighs> all right. Oh, no. oh, 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 yeah! 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 Woo! <laughs> Woo! Every time that Margaret and I go to a hunting show, we hear stories about how a noisy tree stand ruined a chance at a big buck. <laughs> I did it! You did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> Believe me, if you've been in your stand for hours or days and do get a big buck in easy range, the last thing you want is a squeaky tree stand. Well, that may have been the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my life. Not me. Uh, well, we must uh, spin again. We must persevere. Hopefully we get something better this time. Good luck. Let's see. I'm getting nervous. Uh, oh! Where did I come from? I got so much to learn. <laughs> See, look at the baby's coming out of it. Mm -hmm. That's a vagina. Oh, yeah, there's maybe there's oh, a lot of subtlety, like, like yeah, oh, it's like boy. symbolism. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh the cartoon baby. So, dick. Oh, that's this person had sex with a lot of black men. <laughs> if we start at the top, you can see that the man has a flat chest. Oh, oh. there we go. Oh, she's bouncing. You were this is oh, weird. Your mother's breasts were rather like a mobile milk bar. And that's when the man puts his penis inside the woman. And what? <laughs> what? That's the what? Two people can get. Oh, my God. It yeah. starts slowly, but gets quicker 
and quicker as the tickly feeling gets yeah, strong. I want to hear the narrator get more like aroused and worked up as she's explaining. Oh, yeah, she <laughs> she's like, oh. When the man and the woman have been wriggling so hard you think they're both going to pop, they very nearly do just that. <laughs> All the rubbing up and down that's been going on ends in a lovely explosion. Yeah! Oh! Wow. Have you done something to your hair? No. Is that a new dress? Take off your pants! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just say that the, the few ex-girlfriends I have fall way short of you in the beauty stakes. In fact, they weren't even particularly nice people. So I can fully understand you wanting to say bad things about them. They totally deserve it. <laughs> 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 I will say beer come out my nose on that one. This is like this is like a joke gift. Sure. I, I don't know though. Oh, oh. I just don't understand why women feel the need to keep taking off their clothes in movies. I mean, not only is it absolutely degrading to them. Nobody irons a jean skirt. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Well, everyone, let's talk about the three uh, films, videos, things things we just viewed yeah. um, via the uh, Wheel of the Worst, which is Lived so, up to its title tonight. so appropriately titled. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. This was truly a miserable, miserable day yeah. for all of us. Um, but interesting. All these were miserable and, and, and boring to watch, but in sort of interesting ways. But, as usual, similarities appeared in all three of the videos, yeah. which uh, mainly was long, boring stretches of nothing happening. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> this is boring. We need to say, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, yeah. I know this was one of the tapes that was the most anticipated by people, and... Uh, yeah, no. I, I was really I, looking forward to this one, yeah. considering how the box looked, but let me just say, that never happens in the movie. This box no. co totally lied to us. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to see one dummy. <laughs> one dummy, that's it. Yeah. This downward tilt could cause you to lose your balance and fall out of the stand. Show it! <laughs> I want one dummy! Not a single dummy falls out of a, out of a tree stand. We get to see Grandma climbing up a tree for about 85 minutes. Yeah. Climbing is so easy that it's almost fun. Well, I know, I know why she wanted to keep using that thing because it was constantly rubbing her her crotch. Her, her it was yeah, yeah. It was rubbing her clitoris, which ties in with our second video. But she, yeah, that's the only reason that went on for sixty minutes. Yeah. Well, yeah, it should have been called Grandma Climbs a Tree and Kills mm. Animals. Yeah. And then and then does this. M Margaret wanted a hunt in no. her. <laughs> It's it's disturbing to watch, but if you eat a cheeseburger, how you again? again? You did no. it again. He's talking about cheeseburgers, and I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, this video really should be called "Murderous Grandma," mm. or or "Fat Ethel 3. Oh yeah. Um, because the grandma be shooting deer. Yeah. Well, the okay. So the video is called "Tree Stand Safety." Uh, that takes up the first maybe 15 minutes of the video, where we see relatives of Napoleon Dynamite 
setting up tree stands. Uh, and relatively informative. I learned some things. You, you had some great cue card readings. Yeah, yeah, lots of awkward pauses as they flipped the cue card. <laughs> a, a drunken hillbilly read cue cards in, into his uh, answering machine mm -hmm. and then sent the tape off to the production house that finished the video. This instruction book or pamphlet should be read from front to back. Uh, he read literally in the entire script and order, mistakes and all. <laughs> Uh, but that was the first 15 minutes of the video. Yeah. And then the last 60 minutes was Hunting with the Tree Lounge, which was uh, Elmer Fudd and his, <laughs> his elderly wife, Margaret, Mar Margaret Heiss, um, who invented a product called the Tree Lounge, which is infinitely better than any tree stand. It's essentially an advertisement for the yeah. product you should have gotten instead of the tree, ta tree stand that yeah. you're learning safety yeah. about. Remember now. all yeah. the safety you learned about the tree stand? Well, forget that. Throw the it out the lounge. window. Yeah. You can't sleep in a tree stand? Nope. You can sleep in a tree lounge. Safety rope? Fuck that. The tree lounge is way too cool for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> the tree lounge is completely different from other tree stands. <laughs> Ironically, this guy sounds like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> so, 15 minutes of uh, a redneck reading the instruction manual to a tree stand. Yeah, yeah. which was quality. I mean, it, it was, it was informative. Yeah. It's, Although, it's, it does get meta at one point when they show them opening the tree stand and there's a VHS tape in there with instructions on how to properly use the tree stand. Yeah. And yes. it's like, is that the video we're watching? Yeah, right. Did Spike <laughs> Jones make this video? Use them. We'll show the safety <laughs> equipment, such as safety belt, climbing straps. So the, the, the second part of it is it's kind of a glorified home movie of just Margaret and her husband wandering around the woods and pimping how awesome their product is. But there's one, I guess, creative cutaway yeah. where they say something about, you know, you may be intimidated to do this stuff when you get older, and they just cut to, to Elmer Fudd in front of a gigantic birthday cake. As people get older, they tend to become more concerned about safety. And that's where he should be less concerned about tree stand safety and more concerned about being cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire yeah. safety. No, it's, it's, it's old. <laughs> I thought, I thought that was an excellent point that Rich made during the, the screening uh, of uh, Tree Stand Safety. When you wear a bright fluorescent uh, vest, doesn't that negate the purpose of camouflage? Look at me, I'm, I'm not a deer, but also I'm trying to blend in. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I would like is if there was a disclaimer at the end that just said, no animals were harmed in the filming of this. <laughs> Oh, it's like a puppet now. <laughs> I'm gonna make you talk. <laughs> well, despite the exciting cover, tree stand safety was terrible. We did not see an awkward dummy fall off a tree stand. Yeah. There were no recreations of accidents that could happen no. while uh, misuse of a tree stand, which is what we were hoping for. Uh, instead, this was a kind of Mm, run-of-the-mill hunting video. There was one man who slipped on the rung of a ladder, and broke when he stepped on it, yeah. but that might have actually been a real accident that happened. That's possible. <laughs> there was an ambulance that drove into the forest. Oh yeah, to, right to, into the To woods. slowly carry a man out on a stretcher. <laughs> I think we can all agree though that the cover is a work of art. The cover It should is be beautiful. hanging in a museum. Yeah. You know what? I wish that the videotape was blank. And then all we had to go off of was the cover. Yeah. That would have made me happy. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, let's move on to video number two, which uh, the Wheel of the Worst selected for us to watch, uh, sent to us by someone and the only remaining element of the original video is the back part of the VHS sleeve. Uh, the video is called, Where Did I Come From? Sex education can be fun. You can make a video about us watching that video called, How Did I End Up Here? Yeah, what's, what's wrong with our lives? Well, it's, it's been noted though, sex education, not for like teenagers. No. This is sex education for like 
five-year-old. <laughs> yeah, that gets into graphic detail. Which is the yeah. most, the weirdest thing about it is, yeah, it, it shows like uh, your parents, they fucked, they have sex, and they get worked up, and it shows these kittens as representations of penetration and speeding up and then finally ejaculating. But it's all done in sort of a vague, weird way where it's like a five-year-old is gonna be so baffled by what any of this is supposed to mean. <laughs> The facts of life are presented with the same love and humor that have made Where Did I Come From a best-selling book all over the world. So I guess Where Did I Come From was an a illustrated book for children about uh, conception and birth and the whole process. And it was someone's idea to turn it into an incredibly awkward and embarrassing cartoon video. <laughs> Mom found me one day in a hamburger. <laughs> oh, it's got blood on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm reading the back here, um, not only to check the running time, uh, but also to uh, see what, what age range it's aimed at, and it yeah. doesn't say. That would be helpful if they said for yeah. ages, you know, five to eight or yeah, something. Yeah, it doesn't it's say that. It seems young, because that's not something you'd show a preteen. No, they put things in there to distract children from the content. By oh, They have like the little cartoon duck, and they have all the kids yeah. like playing with the dog, and all these bizarre things. The duck is the weirdest, because you see the, the parents in the bathtub, and it's like the, they stand up and the suds are covering them. And it's like the suds are about to fall off. And then you cut to this duck just like staring at their genitals. Yeah. He can't take his eyes off that guy's dick. <laughs> he can't, he's riveted. Yeah. <laughs> just like breasts, this part of the body has a lot of different names. You probably have a special name for yours, but the right name for it is the penis. Just like peanuts without the teeth. <laughs> This All duck right. just staring at crotches is really unsettling. Well, that was the weird part of, of the sexual video, was them explaining an orgasm and sexual pleasure. Yeah. They, they yeah. described it as tickling. Yeah, they said it feels like a tickle in your belly. It's like a kid is not going to have any clue what this is supposed to mean. Yeah. At the same time as this tremendous big shiver, a spurt of quite thick, sticky stuff comes from the end of the man's penis. That's a lot of cum. <laughs> well, it's got like a, a hippie mentality to it, I guess. Kind of a new agey kind of. of. The, the concept of being completely truthful with a small child is, is interesting, but I would be curious to see an actual child's reaction to the video. Would they just be confused or uncomfortable or misinformed with the tickling business. Like, what does that mean? Well, yeah. What does this have to do with, I heard penis and vagina earlier, but what is this? Well, well intention possibly, but I don't know that it's really gonna do any, do any good. Yeah. All you need to say is, mommy and daddy get together, and then nine months later, you come yeah. out of her belly. Well, well intention is a good word to use, because that one did feel well intention, as opposed to the other two, which both just feel like shameless, cynical, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, cash grab. Gratuitous. Yeah. yeah. They had an attempt to teach younger children about how babies are made sure. with disastrous results. This is gonna confuse kids, because they don't do this. Actually, the age that this is aiming at, they're not gonna understand any of this. This is somebody thinking that complete honesty is the best policy. Yeah. Yeah. So, some hippy dippy bullshit yeah. where yeah. they yeah. thought. No, it, it's really beautiful, man. We don't need to hide it from our kids. We'll tell them everything. And that's yeah. that's how this came to be. Yeah. Yes. yeah, children should be shielded from certain information until sure. they're mature enough. To and, understand and, and grasp someone, the yeah, information. Someone in sixth, seventh grade, I guess, is when you really start learning about yeah. exactly what happens and you're not watching this video. Yeah. Well, you, you start to understand that you're attracted to, you know, whatever, the opposite sex or whatever when you're younger than that, but you don't really know what that means exactly until you're a little bit older. Yeah. I was smart. I figured it all out on my own by the time I was two. Oh, Rich. Oh, that's what happens. Yes, of course. It makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. Did Nano tell you about the birds and the bees? No, nobody told me about the birds and the bees. It was all, all self-taught. Awesome. The birds, birds and the beads. Birds and the beads, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, 
There's a bead involved somewhere. I've never had no, sex. No, that's that's what? when anal beads. There's oh. anal beads. Oh. Did you type? Did you type what is sex on Google? Or like, and you just got <laughs> anal beads. Just, like yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Amazon links that's to what, anal beads. You know what? If you can use anal beads with somebody, that's true love. <laughs> True. Well, speaking of anal beads, let's talk about <laughs> Instant Adoring's boyfriend. Oh, hang on. I've just got to get something. Our third video of the night is the incredible Instant Adoring boyfriend. Um, shockingly produced in 2002. Yeah, the, the, the tail end of VHS. Uh, Rich, can you... Uh, Fill us in on the premise of the incredible instant adoring boyfriend. I'm not introducing this shit. Explain the plot <laughs> there, of instant adoring there, boyfriend. There, there is no plot. I mean, basically, it's just a guy looking at the camera and he's going to pretend he's your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. that's, is, that's all it is. What is the purpose of this video? Well, that's that's open to discussion. I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm leaning towards it's just like a, a novelty joke thing. See, I, I can't agree with that because it's too too long for one thing and there's no sort of well, they camp can't, well, see here's the it. thing though as far as, as far as length goes they can't release a video that's 10 minutes so it is 30 minutes of padding but you're only supposed to watch five minutes of it and say ha ha but they don't pack that five that first five minutes or so he doesn't with he doesn't. with a bunch of like kind of campy funny stuff yeah it's more like the whole thing is really no, casual. It, yeah it starts off with a lot of one-liners and it's not till like five minutes in where you get to the long pauses This is not spending time with me. <laughs> You're reading a magazine. Hello. Uh. Or he's just sitting there reading a magazine. I, I think they did pack the first five minutes. Oh yes, and your eyes are, are so beautiful. I know you, you eat this cake because I don't care how fat you get. I'll still love you <laughs> more than the moon. <laughs> and that, that is the first five minutes. There's some more of that There's later just, too. But, see, later but, too the, but the way it's played isn't like campy, funny, ha ha. Oh, it's, it's it's played more straight. <sighs> the workout, uh, it's made me all hot and sweaty. Listen, do you mind if I go and take a shower? It's it's annoying it, yeah. more than anything. The, the intent awful. of the video is questionable, but what it really felt like is a a 50 year old businessman uh, cynically saying, "What can we uh, release?" that depressing uh, women with no lives will purchase to make themselves feel like they have a companion. Well, That's what it here's, feels like. Here's the thing, though. I, I'm going to agree with you on the 58-year-old businessman, but was he thinking, this is what a desperate, lonely woman would really want? Or was he thinking, well, this is kind of a funny novelty idea that people will purchase? <laughs> It's, it's more on the, it's not as campy as it could have been. And one reason for that is the, the woman who he's talking to never moves positions. No. So it's almost as if the woman who is sitting there on her couch, she's supposed to just stay stationary for this half hour while this fake imaginary boyfriend talks to her and compliments her, makes her feel good about herself. And then she goes one more day without killing herself. I hate making you feel bad. Here's what I see. Three possible categories, and I'm going to ask you guys yeah. uh, what, what you all vote into what the target audience of this is. Mm. One is, is gag gift, a 30-something woman who has no life and her, her friends get her this as a gag gift, yeah. right? Aimed at teenage girls who read like Teen Beat magazine and stuff like that who will actually watch this for its intended purpose. Mm. This is my real boyfriend, almost like a video uh, aquarium. Three is elderly gay men. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> there should be four options. What's the fourth? The fourth option is a past her prime middle-aged woman. Well, you have older women that read like those trashy romance novels, like yeah. that sort of demographic. Yeah, that so that's mean? yeah, the woman who has a bunch of cats who who lives <laughs> alone. Oh and and but yeah. let me just say, it would be a more serious romance if that were the case. This was just stereotypes but thrown that's in what your I'm saying. face for 30 minutes. Actually for about 10 minutes because there was a lot of just sitting there doing nothing because yeah. they need but, to read but see, but see and that's the thing too and that's why I stand by my this is for middle-aged women this is the demographic that it's hitting because 
she just wants that companionship. She just wants to feel like someone is there with her while she's also reading. 30 minutes at a time? Yeah, but but that, that the it's the woman that the woman that's that sad and that lonely and that delusional where she puts on a video of of a young guy pretending uh, he's her boyfriend. Yeah. That's like a one percent well, on the like, on the market. Uh, your first example was thirty plus year old woman. Gag gift. Kind of yeah, a gag gift. You know that like her girlfriends give her. Doesn't even watch it. Yeah. It would be offensive. It would be offensive. Like you will never find anybody. Mm. Here's a video of a man who can actually stand you. Gag gifts often are offensive though. Hold on, let me finish. Okay. Okay. So it's just like you know, like how terrible. Like thanks, thanks for thinking of me. Thanks for thinking so little of me you wouldn't have those friends anymore. Right. Yes, but we um, think this was made by a 58-year-old businessman. So exactly. I think it was I'm getting made to as that. a gag gift. I'm getting to that. So then you have your, your teenage component, yeah. where it's just like, you know, I read all these like teen magazines. I want one of the One Direction guys to fall in love with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He looks like that. Mm -hmm. This is that. I would just, I would laugh at this. I think a 30-year-old uh, woman wouldn't take it seriously. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Neither would take it seriously. Maybe a gay man, <laughs> maybe a middle-aged gay man would take it seriously. It's masturbation fun and for a middle-aged gay man. Exactly, yeah. because of like the kind of shots that they do with the angles and the game. lighting. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you have an armpit fetish or a foot fetish or a reading magazines fetish. I'm going to say it might be plausible because now that I think about it, he reminds me of the husband character on The Ghost Whisperer. What one thing we haven't done is um, is uh, read the back, which which might give us some insight. Oh sure. Uh, like for that? a second, I hear I thought it says he's considerate, charming, homeless, <laughs> and, and gorgeous. <laughs> I, I think he, he's yeah. definitely unemployed. We okay. discovered that. Uh, at last, a man who says all the right things. Okay. Uh, well, and we should also, in a bit, uh, talk about the sexist angle of this, uh, reverse sexism, because there is no video of the instant, incredible, adoring girlfriend. Yeah. Right. So at last, a man who says all the right things, who is considerate, charming, gorgeous, and madly in love with you. Sounds too good to be true? Well, he's here, and he's all yours. Well, here, you have the remote control. I hate being responsible for choosing what we get to watch. And you've got such great taste in programs. Well, his, his, uh, his quotes are, have you lost weight? I feel so safe when you're driving. <laughs> That's the best one. Let's that spend really some time with your family this weekend. Yeah. <sighs> Again, if it was aimed at older women, wouldn't it say the incredible instant adoring husband? Mm. But he proposes at the end. Oh yeah, that's, that's guess, right. Yeah. Spoilers. Um, oh, he's gonna propose! Oh. Will you marry me? No. No. Uh, he will always be in a good mood uh, he doesn't drink alcohol, will not force sex upon you. It oh, does not say okay. that. That's not true. It doesn't say, say he where? will not force where? sex upon you. I swear, it let does. Me see, let me see, let me see. I'm continuing to read the, the video box. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't say that. that. He will always be in a good mood. He will think you look just perfect 24 hours a day. He won't make any mess or exude any noxious odors. That means he, he won't fart on you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All he does is read smut. He needs what to is, get a what's job. What's happening? Yeah, hey, adoring boyfriend. More like unemployed boyfriend. They didn't have <laughs> enough content. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, they needed to fill it with just something. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's time to um, to evaluate our, our three videos for, for today. And really, and let's talk about what is the best of the worst, and I'm not sure there is a best no, of the worst. No, I, I can't in good conscience really vote for any of them. Though the, the sex video does have some animation, which is neat. I will, that, I will say, all if I can we, say, if we have to pick one, I would say it's the sex video because it's the shortest. That's a good reason. It's the shortest, and there's animation, so there is actual like like talent and, and uh, yeah, effort. Yeah. These, these two are just the worst thing. But remember, our criteria is just how, whatever is most entertaining. Yeah, and that, well, the, that's the most entertaining. To me, this wasn't the most entertaining. It was, it was strange. I'm, I'm very curious what you do think the most entertaining. It was, it was baffling. Uh, it was baffling, and, and I'm, I'm kind of grasping. It, definitely, number one, best produced. 
yeah. uh, music, narration, uh, animation, everything all around. These are shitty videos. Most entertaining, my vote is for the incredible instant adoring boyfriend. Oh are you I, kidding? I couldn't, I couldn't wrap my mind around the function of it. <laughs> and I think we laughed the most during it. That, That's lots true, of, Lots of boring spells in this one. Especially the second half. It got boring when it started talking about the, the baby yeah. growing in the womb. After after the, the, the cartoon Mommy and Daddy conceived, after that, it was all downhill. After was, the daddy came. After the daddy <laughs> came an ocean of semen. <laughs> well, that's usually where men stop carrying anyway. <laughs> I have to go with the incredible instant adoring boyfriend as the best of the worst tonight. Jesse, Jesse you're, you're, you're gonna make or break this. What did you- Let me, let me just start. Okay. by saying that this was a horrible disappointment. Yeah. No. I think I was one of the ones rooting the most for this. Yeah. And, and was we super so excited. We were so excited when it landed. Yeah. And it was just terrible. Yeah. What did you have more fun and enjoyment out of watching? The cartoon sex video or the, uh, the cartoon sex video? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did. Okay, so this one, I really liked the animation. I really liked the kind of cutesy storytelling. Um, it reminded me a lot of um, old Nickelodeon in like the late 80s, early 90s, where yeah. they would kind of have like- Except for the this... hardcore sex. <laughs> Except for the full frontal. <laughs> Minus full frontal. This is just like uh, the David the Gnome cartoon. Um, but incredible instant adoring boyfriend I think I was more appalled and and laughed and laughed more mm. at this which, which at, at the ridiculousness of it of it all like it was just beyond anything that I could even comprehend <laughs> sure, it, it was it was just terrible and I found more entertainment out of watching um, what men think women want to hear mm. more than anything I, I thought that it was it was quite entertaining. It made me laugh. It, it supplied a lot more jokes for me, mm -hmm. um, rather than a full frontal David the Gnome. So what you're saying is that you select the incredible instant adoring boyfriend as the best of the worst, which means we have our first ever tie of best of the worst. So many worsts. <laughs> Well, we're going to save the case so we can frame it, but the VHS tape itself is going to meet its demise similar to a previous safety video that we've watched. Let's light it up. Parents always say Fire! Fire! Oh my god, it's getting out of control! It's getting out of control! Oh dear god! Oh god, it's getting Fire! Fire! Oh, <laughs> 